this is Nami. Um, this is my first time doing a live stream, so hopefully people are able to tune in. I did set up the live chat, so hopefully um, it'll also come through. Um, I've never done this before, so I'm just a little bit apprehensive about doing this whole thing. So we'll see how this works out. So anyway, um, let's get started. I'm going to be showing how to do um, a card today. And I set it up so that you can see my hands as well as um, just me being able to chat here too. So um, just so you know that I have a very small um, working area right now that I'm working on. So it um, just allows you to um, know that you don't need a lot of space in order to stamp. So here we go. I'm going to switch over to right here so you can see. So here's my card. I'm going to start off with an A2 size card. This is a five and a half by eight and a half card. And I'm just going to fold it in half. And the white cardstock that we have is a linen texture. And what I like about it is it allows you to stamp and have a nice little texture, but not, it doesn't, it's not texturized to the point where it affects the stamping. Um, this is the ink pad that I'll be using, which is VersaFine, which I really like. I'm going to put this underneath my card as a little blotter so I don't damage the table. And I'm going to be using this VersaFine Black with a polka dotted background. This background stem is quite handy. It's the polka dotted one right here. And as you can tell, it's well used. The nice thing about it is you can create your own background with any kind of paper. So you can do it uh, black on white, you can do black on a hot pink cardstock, you can do even white ink on black. So I'm going to just ink it up like this. Very simple. I'm just going to stamp it just right across there. And look, you instantly have a nice background. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little border. So here's another cardstock. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a small little strip here, about, let's see, about 5 eighths of an inch right here. And then I'm going to do another coordinating color here. Let's do um, black here. And I tend not to measure because it just takes more time. I, the more work that you do, to a project, um, the less likely you know you're going to want to do it in the future. I want to add a little white just to um, because this black is so dark. I'm just going to do this. What I do is I just notch it right here, and then I'm just going to cut it just right across here. See this? Very simple. And then once I'm good, I'm going to do that with the black. Just like that. I'm going to notch it right here. So very, very simple. So now I'm going to attach these together. And how I'm going to do that is use my ATG gun. So if you've never seen one, it's really a nice big one. What I like about this one, this is the half inch. So this is an actual industrial size um, ATG gun. Um, it's used commercially, and um, even though you have the pink ones at the craft store, I prefer this one. If you've ever owned the pink one, you know that sometimes the tape will come off a track because it's half the width, and the track is so the tape is so big that it tends to come off, and I don't like that. Um, the other thing too is with it being half an inch versus the quarter inch, you have twice as much, so that means you use probably half the amount of tape because sometimes just a small strip. It won't be enough of a um, adhesion for you to be able to attach. Like something like this, you might even need two strips across it. But for me, I only need to do one. And then you just do that. I didn't. Per, um, I didn't exactly center it. Let's see. Let me, let me do this again. That's the nice thing about this adhesive. Adhesive is you can reattach it. Uh, most adhesives out there, you cannot do that. You, once you have it down, that's it. You have one chance. So, oops. 
Sorry, I have to log back into the computer here. And then I'm just going to do it again. Attach it like so. And then look at this. Isn't that great? That's all I have to do. And you could do it either above, off to the side, even down here. You can make this card this way. You could even cut it into like a little chevron tip or just center it like that. Whatever way, you know, it gives you a lot of flexibility. And if you want to continue on this background, it's quite easy to do. I can demonstrate it later. So anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and attach the ATG gun like this. And I'm just going to do it right down the middle here. And notice I didn't measure it. I'm just kind of doing that across. And then I'm just going to take scissors to just trim it. And simple, simple as that. See, it's perfect. Perfect fit every time. So now the next thing I'm going to do is going to create the little centerpiece. So I'm going to stamp this. Um, I'm going to stamp this little heart out. Punch this out. This is our scalloped heart there. And we also have a nice little um, outline that you could stamp with it. So I'm just going to stamp it just right like so. And then I'm going to do another center to that. See this one? It's like a little pitiful. Just going to step it right in the middle here. Just using just like that. Even though that outline wasn't perfectly centered, you can balance it out by stamping this a little bit above center. So it gives the illusion that's centered. And then I'm going to add a little bit of color here. And I'm using the Tombow marker like that. Pretty simple here. Okay, and I'm going to highlight it again right here, just on the very edge. I'm using the, the skinny point to add some detail here. Like this. And then I'm going to take my other punch. This is a larger one. I'm going to do the hot pink. Oops. Sorry. I think this one needs a little bit of um, there we go. I've had that for years. So I'm just going to attach it like this using mounting tape. And if you notice here, I've got this gigantic roll. Um, you can buy this at an office supply place. It's available um, it's by 3M, and I'm just going to peel off a little bit. And I know some of you, they'll, you'll buy this tape and use your scissors, but to save on your scissors, I would just recommend just tearing it off and just peeling it. And then to add a little fun detail here, I'm going to add little tiny dots just to the scalp, like this. Just adds a fun little accent without overpowering it. Very, very simple like that. Okay, then I'm going to add more of the mounting tape again. Just tear it off and just apply that right here. Very simple. And look, I think that only took us a few 
Okay, that's me five minutes and you've got a really cute card. Um, there's fun ways of making this even more um, fancy if you want and let me show you how. I'll just do a quick little demonstration here. So let's take that scallop heart that we used. Oops, see right here. And I'm going to stamp this across. Start in the middle. And then depending on how many you want, I'll just do about, you got to do an odd number. So I'm going to do five. And you'll see what I'm doing. Probably, I know you don't know what I'm doing just at this moment, but like that. And then I'm going to do the outline again because I like it. Oops. And see with stamping, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, and now I'm gonna do this little heart. Same thing. Actually, let me do um, a couple of different versions because this in this pack you have different ones you can choose from, and they all go into the same heart. So to demonstrate, I'm going to do each of them. Here's the stitch one. Here's the dotted one. And here is the dotted background one. See how cute that is? Can you see each of them? So now I'm going to cut them out, but I'm going to cut them out as one. I'm going to keep it very simple. I'm not going to cut out all the scallops. Just really um, bold curves. Like that and like that. See that? Very simple. And um, I'm using big scissors as you could tell. That way when they're small you have to open and close them often. But this one I only, if you notice, I barely open and close them. So I'm just going to fold it like a, an accordion style like this. Oops. Try to stay in the camera so you can see what I'm doing. Like that, just back and forth. And you need the ends to be towards you. That's the most important thing. So, so if it's not towards you, then you need to refold it so that it is. So then I'm going to add the ATG gun and the cool thing about the ATG gun is you don't see this is going to be a little challenging to do it this way or especially the other side because once I do it it's going to um, the other side is going to be sticky right. So I'm going to do one side but when I do the other side so it won't stick I can actually attach it to my hand like this. See this? This is very very handy so then I could just attach it right there. See that? Okay, now I'm going to just place this in here like so and then just close it. And look at this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Oops, there we go. I'm going to remove some of that extra adhesive. But look at that. Now you've got a dimensional pop up card that took very little work. You just fold it back up like this and put in your card or in your envelope and you send it off. And look how lovely that is. Love that. So um, I'm going to keep this short because it's my first one and I didn't want to, you to tune out just yet. So hi guys. Okay, so here's the card. And then here it is. So I hope you liked it. I hope you want to see more of that. If you do, please comment. Please also subscribe because there's no telling when I'll actually be doing the videos because I'm still testing this whole platform out, so I'm not sure how often I'll do this. Um, and also, <clears throat> doing it live is a little nerve-wracking. See you next time, and be sure to subscribe. You can see here. Let me. I actually have my little banner here. So, see you next time. Thanks. Bye.